Hey guys, the Squatch team here. Uh, we are back in southeastern Oklahoma practicing social distancing. We're miles and miles from anybody out here in the middle of the forest, but right now we're back on our property and we're gonna make a little round this morning before it gets too hot and see about if we can find any uh, any evidence that uh, our friends are on property. Um, today is Sunday, May the 3rd. We will be doing a live stream tomorrow night, which will be May the 4th at 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And we'll be doing that live stream from in the woods. So hopefully uh, they'll be around and we'll get some interaction tomorrow night on the live stream. So uh, I've got some evidence right over here that I want to film for you guys. I think it's the largest footprint that we have found on property. I haven't measured it yet, but it appears to be somewhere in the neighborhood maybe 18 inches long and 6 inches wide uh, with very prominent toes. So. I'm going to film that evidence for you and then we're going to make a round through the property here before it gets too hot during the day. So, And that footprint, I'm thinking, is the same one, if y'all were watching our last live stream, that I found um, and got escorted back to the property when I wandered away, but it was about the size of this one. It's, it's a big scary one. It's, I think, guys, it's the largest footprint that, that I've ever seen, that I've ever found or been associated with. This thing is huge, and I'm going to film it for you here in just a second. So, And if you ever watched our video where, we're, where the eyes are showing, I don't know what you titled that, Sasquatch Watching Deer. Yeah. To me, this footprint would line up with the size of what that one was that we measured where the eyes were so it's a large creature you know, those eye, that eye shine guys that that was filmed was at least eight foot tall so that would that would be a minimum of eight foot tall but this is a huge footprint i'm gonna film it for you right now guys so you guys stay with us okay guys this is the footprint that we fa actually found this yesterday uh, it's not too awfully far from the cabin uh, we found evidence yesterday they had been up rummaging around uh, the cabin we had uh, a bunch of lawn chairs stacked up that a bird had built a nest in those lawn chairs and they had just tore those lawn chairs up got the eggs out of the nest and had stood there and eat, uh, eaten the eggs. And from kind of tracking where it walked off, it came right through this area. And guys, you can see the size of that footprint. It is absolutely huge. Uh, I don't know if you, can, you guys can see the toe definition there at the top. Yeah, put your foot up beside it. Is it just three toes? No, I think there's, let's see, there's one. I just see three. One, two, three, four, and probably five right there. Little toe right there. I don't want to step on it. Don't step on it, but just kind of put your, on the other side. Get up to up there. I can't, put it on the other side. Yeah, like that. Sheila wears a size seven, guys. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. And you can see how much larger that footprint is than, than her shoe. That thing is absolutely, it, it's huge. It's the largest one that I've ever seen. I'm going to measure it later on, but I'm thinking it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 18, maybe even 19 inches long. And something was very, very heavy that and stepped there. It's not, yeah, y'all it's not good enough for you guys to see, but there's a heel print right there. We can see it here, but I don't think it's going to show up on camera. 
So this is left foot, and this truly looks like a right. Bill's got a sh your shadows on it, but I don't think it would even show up on the camera, but it looks like there's a right heel print right there. But I don't think y'all be able to see it. It's not indented enough. We're going to kind of follow in the direction this footprint's going, guys. Uh, and I'm going to outrun Bill. That's all you would need to do is outrun me, and I'm not very fast. So <laughs> you guys stay with us. Okay, guys, uh, we just walked probably 20 yards from that large footprint, and we found another one here that's much, much smaller. I hope you guys can see that. Now, there's toe definition at the top and then a heel down here at the bottom. That one is no more than seven or eight inches long, maybe. There's Sheila's footprint up beside it, so it's pretty close. It's a size ladies nine, the footprint, not my foot. So we're thinking maybe that might be Junior that uh, maybe was with Big Boy and they came right through here, but that's two footprints within 20 yards, guys. So we're going to continue on down this way and see what else we can find. You guys stay with us. Hey guys, we just found a, a, a footprint down here in this mud. Uh, it's got water in it. You can see that reflection of that water, but it's it's a very small one. Uh, that, that's got to be a juvenile. You can see the toes. How they kind of dug into the mud. And this is raccoons. Well, no doubt about what that is, guys. That's right here in this mud. Normally, this is a, a little creek that runs back through here. Normally, you don't find a footprint in this mud, but... but that's why. It's a young one. The older ones would not leave a print like that, but the younger ones... They haven't learned that yet. He probably got grounded and got his cell phone taken away from that. There's no doubt about what that is, guys. We're going to follow it on up through here and see what else we can find. I hope you guys can see that good. The water's reflecting on it. But I'd like to see. I mean, that's a right foot, right? So let's yeah, see it's a right we... foot. He probably stepped off this bank right there to cross. I bet Dad said, you are in so much trouble. Here's another angle of that, guys. It's got too much water in it to cast it. Yeah, here's another angle of this. It's Here, got let too me put my foot over there. That's about a seven and a half. It's a pretty small one, very small. Maybe six and a half. Definitely a juvenile. As we're following this creek, uh, see if we can find any more evidence, any more footprints. Or we found several footprints around this creek area, so we're just following it, seeing what else we can find. I think right now we've seen three different sizes. Would you agree? The footprints. Yeah, three different sizes footprints. Small, medium, and large. Very large. Notice as he filmed how thick this stuff is, so people can understand how hard it is to spot these guys. It has grown up so much in the last few weeks. Everything's just greened up so much and they could be 20 feet from us right now we couldn't see it unless they move well, we're going to continue on down this creek guys and see what else we can find so you guys stay with us <clears throat> another print guys it's it's hard to see in the leaves but the toe details are there the heel Here's the heel. Here's goes up. The toes are kind of stuck up in those leaves, but you can see it if you move the leaves. But the interesting thing is if you move right here, here's the smaller one. So 
there's a pair traveling together. There's a heel. Here's the arch. There's the toes. But it's much smaller than that other one. It looks like <clears throat> there was an adult with a juvenile traveling through here. Juniors. Like they were headed down right through there. Junior's getting bigger though than when we first saw, started seeing his tracks. Mm -hmm. He's really growing. And now there's another smaller one with them. Dang, I wish they'd leave more prints. Wait, wait, don't get in the way of the camera. That may be just a log or a stump, I can't right tell. there, yeah, I saw it too. Right there? Yeah. Yeah, I saw it too, but it's just a fat part of the tree. It's really thick up in here, guys. It's, <clears throat> I mean, they'd be 20 yards away from you, and you couldn't see them if they were standing still in that brush. And these prints that we're seeing, not these, are that. These, these are, those other ones here, they're fresh. Usually it takes them a day to figure out we're here, don't you think? I think they must maybe come through here once a day. I don't know, down in that creek area, well, I think they hang out down there and scavenge for crawfish and turtles and frogs and whatever they can scavenge down there. We see a lot of tracks down around that creek area. And we saw a live turtle. He was trying to run. I guess he was running. That's a, That was a turtle run, wasn't it? That one little step he took. Mm -hmm. That was a turtle one. Okay guys, we're going to continue on. Okay guys, we made a pretty good round through the property, through this portion of the property up here and found quite a few footprints uh, and they were fresh too, which kind of leads me to believe that they've been on property. I don't know if they're still here, but they've certainly been here recently. So hopefully tomorrow night when we have the live stream, uh, We'll get some action for you guys. So anyway, you guys have a blessed day.